What's going on guys? We're out here today with a cool little gun. It's a car CW9. It's a gun that my girlfriend got me for our anniversary a couple months ago. Uh, we've been having some fun with it, shooting it, plinking with it a little bit. Got about 250 rounds down range on this gun. Uh, some Remington UMC, some Winchester White Box, and some uh, PMC Bronze. Haven't had a single malfunction or anything, any hiccup whatsoever on this gun so far. So thought it'd be a good time to bring you guys a little review and a little shooting action with it for you guys let you take a look at it so before we get any further go ahead and show you that the weapon is clear nobody's going to be taking any bullets to the head today and the magazine is empty as well so to get started uh, this is going to be a really nice concealed carry option for you guys out there it's a very lightweight and as you can see it's a very slim gun it's a single stack gun um, so we're just going to go ahead and get started on talking about this guy. So first of all, start with the mag. Capacity on this gun is seven rounds in the magazine, one round in the chamber. So I'm going to give you a total of eight rounds. It's going to be seven plus one. Um, so there's the magazine. One thing that I will say that I didn't like about the gun so much is that it does only come with one magazine. I uh, really like when manufacturers throw in that extra magazine for you, so you have at least two. I know that's a way for them to cut down costs, production costs, and provide it to you guys a little cheaper, but I feel that one magazine's a little bit light, um, especially because these car mags aren't the cheapest mags in the world. They're going to run you guys about 35 40 bucks, depending on where you pick them up. So, I guess we'll talk about the cost of the gun. We picked this guy up for 390 bucks, brand new. Typically, you're going to get them right around the 400 mark. I've seen them as low as 375, and as high as about 425. Um, but most places, they're right around $400. So it's a really affordable gun for you guys. We'll run through some specs on it real quick. The barrel is 3.565 inches long. Comes in at 15.8 ounces, and the width is going to be 0.9 inches wide. So it's a real slim gun. I believe the length is 5.9 inches and the height is 4.8 inches. Uh, I'm not positive on those, just quoting those kind of off the top of my head real quick. So if you want to know those specifically, I'd jump on Carr's website. Um, one thing that I found pretty interesting I want to show you guys real quick, let me remove the mag, is how you actually have to charge this weapon. <clears throat> so unlike a typical, you know, handgun, you can just pull the slide back and kind of let it creep forward. On this gun, if you do that, it's going to cause some feeding issues. Um, something that Carr felt was so important, they put it right on top of the box. As soon as you open it up, it's the first thing, is actually how to charge this weapon. So you have two options. The first option is to lock the slide back, and then use your slide lock lever to charge it. So that's one way that you can do it. Or the second way is to slingshot it. And what I mean by that is, you're going to pull back, and as you're releasing it, keep pulling back. So it slams home with some force. Just like that. Um, and like I said again, car says right on the right in the box as soon as you open it, there's a little paper that says that that's how you're gonna need to charge this weapon. Um, I did try to, you know, just pull back and creep it forward and it did have some feeding issues. So I may try to polish this the um, the feed ramp and see if that can maybe improve it a little bit. I haven't done that yet. Something I might do in the future. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and show you the sight picture you're going to get with this gun. See if we can line that up there real quick. Not the greatest sights in the world, but um, they're certainly not bad sights. Been able to hit pretty good on target with that. Let's go ahead and show you guys the trigger. Now, with this gun, there's no external safety on the gun. So the safety is actually the trigger. What you're going to get is a long and smooth trigger pull. So it is a long trigger pull similar to a double action revolver. However, it's very smooth. It's not a tough pull. It's very smooth, very easy to pull. And then your reset it's going to be right there. 
so we got a long reset as well. But overall, I think it's going to be a nice gun for you guys. Great concealed carry option. We're going to do a little bit of shooting with it. Hope you guys will stick around for the rest of the video. Here's a quick tip for some of you guys that maybe already own this weapon. Um, if you're having some feeding issues, something that you might want to give a try is after you've loaded up your magazine, you want to make sure that all the rounds are fully seated in the back of the mag. So after you get it loaded up, just give it a few taps on the back of your hand just to push all the rounds all the way to the back. Then reinsert your mag into the gun, charge it, shoot it, give it a try. Should see a little bit of improvement as far as reliability on the rounds feeding into the gun if you make sure that the rounds are fully seated in the magazine. That was our video on a CAR CW9.